Vandal, Phantom, Vandal, Phantom, Vandal, 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 Phantom, 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 Phantom. This is all you guys talk about. And statistically, it's what you guys care the most about. It's just a highly debated topic in the Valorant community. It's a similar conversation to left Twix versus right Twix, Coke versus Pepsi, McDonald's versus Burger King. So you can see why people are so passionate about this topic. But hey, personally, I'm more of a Phantom user. And today I'm sharing with you one rule that'll help you master your aim with this gun. Let's get started. So a lot of people love to switch back and forth between both the Phantom and the Vandal, almost as much as they love switching their crosshair. I honestly think it's all placebo effect, personal preference, or situation dependent. But I mean, hey, whatever makes you more comfortable. The issue with the constant switching though is that people start using one weapon like it's the other. Let me explain. So the advantage of the Vandal has over the Phantom is that you can tap fire much, much quicker and more reliably than you would with the Phantom. The recoil resets much faster, you can be more agile in your strafes, and overall be a much harder target to hit. Now, with the Phantom, you can't do this as easily. People think that you can tap fire at the same rate as the Vandal, but what happens is that people burst like they would with the Vandal, they don't let the recoil reset, and end up looking like a bozo. Then the user starts screaming, WHERE ARE MY BULLETS GOING? Ah! You see the same problem with other guns too. People spam their ghosts or classics way too fast for them to actually be accurate. People try and tap fire with a Spectre, but don't realize you need to let it reset its recoil as well. Every weapon in the game has its own recoil timer, and mastering them should win you a ton more fights. This is especially true with the Phantom. The time it takes to reset this recoil after spraying is about one second. I like to call this the second Phantom rule. This rule differs from the Vandal, as with that weapon, it takes you a lot less time to reset your recoil. People just get used to other recoil reset times and then wonder why their shots aren't landing. By the way, if you want to learn how to master all of those weapons I just mentioned, and then some, you should check out our website. We have courses made by Radiant Level players that are tailored specifically to help you out of whatever rank that you're stuck in. From agent specifics, to map metas, or even the basic fundamentals, we have it all. Or you can check out our Discord and ask some of our Radiant coaches anything you'd like. We can't promise how long this feature is going to be free for, so take advantage of this now. It's not every day that you have access to some of the best players in the world. And it's our job to help you improve, so come check us out at Skillcapped, we'll be waiting. All right, now back to the Phantom's recoil. As a matter of fact, usually you're going to need to spray people down, usually with two or more bullets. But something to keep in mind is that even though spraying with the Phantom is good, your second bullet is almost always going to be above the first. While it doesn't really seem like it from close range, at long range, this is especially true. This means that whenever you decide to shoot more than one shot, you should just always pull down as you shoot. But just keep in mind that when you stop shooting, it's going to be a minute, or I should say a second, before you can shoot accurately again. With the Phantom, it's actually okay to burst for a different amount of bullets depending on the range that your target is at. A good rule of thumb is that if you're ranging anywhere from 0 to 15 meters away, it's okay to spray anywhere from 5 to 6 shots and maybe even more. But be careful because your recoil can become too unpredictable. Then you should stop shooting, reset, and get ready to go again. The Phantom is designed to be sprayed with, so you should be taking advantage of that from these close ranges. Now, if you're in between 15 to 30 meters, then you should be shooting maybe 3 to 4 shots. Depending on the distance, 4 is kind of pushing it. But again, the Phantom is built to be able to let off a few more shots than the Vandal would. And obviously, if you're taking fights at over 30 meters or more, you should be shooting maybe one or two shots at a time. And honestly, at that point, you probably should just use the Vandal. But keep in mind that the Phantom isn't always going to one-shot people. This is why people hate this thing. They can't stand the fact that they can't just one-tap a person and go on with their lives. As a matter of fact, according to Thinking Man's Valorant, pros and champs more often than not opted for the Vandal than the Phantom. But in the end, it does just come down to personal preference. And as a quick small tip, if you are taking long range fights, don't be afraid to ADS. It does make your gun a lot more accurate. Now before we hop into some pro gameplay, I want to let you guys know that this video idea was inspired by one of your questions. Over on our Discord, we have a new channel called Ask a Pro, where you can ask us coaches anything you need. And here's that question. Myself and another coach answered him with this answer that's scrolling on your screen now. And if you want to ask us some questions yourselves, you should check out our Discord, link in the description below. Now let's take a look at one of the best Phantom users in action and break down how he's using the weapon. Spike planted. Kill. One enemy remaining. In this first clip, Nats is retaking A on Icebox. After swinging out Raptor, he's able to spray 9 bullets pretty accurately before getting ready to kill his next target. People always tell you how crouch spraying is bad, but when you're confident that you're landing your shot and can control the spray, it's actually not that bad. This is especially true with the Phantom, where you want to be spraying at this range. So after he sprays down the chamber, he swings out even further, giving his Phantom time to reset, and then Sage swings him on her own and he kills her. And then lastly, he kills the Viper. But do you see how many shots he's getting off in between each of these Skills. With a Vandal, it's important that you understand you can't spray like this and your gunfights would be a lot different. This is especially true for that first chamber kill. 
In this next clip, you're gonna see him use his phantom at a longer range. As Nets is turning the corner, notice how he's ADSing. A lot of people frown at people who aim down sight with their rifles, but there's actually a lot of merit behind doing so. Sure, your movement is a lot slower, but you can control your spray a lot easier. After realizing no one's deep, he goes back to hip fire and then flicks to the Sage on top of 410. Notice how he's only bursting when trying to kill her. He knows that the Phantom isn't reliable if you try and spray at that range. Then after he realizes that someone just planted the spike, he holds for their swing and bursts again. His Phantom by this time has reset from the seven bullets he used on that Sage and can safely take another duel with the planner. And he does it again on the Reyna who swings back sight. But something I noticed when watching these clips slow down is that Nats isn't crouching as soon as he gets into a gunfight. He only crouches as soon as his bullets make contact. This makes sense as the damage you're dealing is going to slow down the enemy so they can't really go anywhere. By doing so, he then can control his spray a lot better and the enemy was just trying to aim for his head. So if he crouches late, this completely throws off the crosshair placement and allows him to win more fights like these three you just saw. Nats is the Phantom master, and you can learn a lot by breaking down gameplay like this. Another notorious Phantom user is DRX's jet main, Buzz, and there's not much to say besides he just uses the Phantom a lot and does a good job at it. We're also going to break down his clips and how he uses the Phantom. For you duelist mains, the Phantom should be your weapon of choice more often than not. I mean, think about it. Your job is to make space for your team and close the distance between you and the enemy. So which gun is better at taking these close range duels? You guessed it, the Phantom. Especially if you're dashing, satcheling, or sliding onto a scent. Close range angles like Generator, Dice, or Hell are going to be better off clearing with a Phantom. Or Haven, every site has close range angles a Phantom is in perfect distance in for clearing. Okay, enough of that. Let's watch Buzz work. Start clearing through the site. It's gonna be on the commitment though. Buzz probably first contact, I'd imagine. Yeah, it gets it, takes down Shell. The Gorge King himself, but it's Buzz to follow up again. And DRX holding on. In this first clip, notice where Buzz is playing. Ascent is more of a Phantom map, with its close range angles and ability to spam through smoke so easily. But notice the distance from him and his opponents at door. He's close enough to where he's only letting about three shots fire before ducking into cover. He does a great job at isolating his opponents, making himself awkward to kill, and punishes them with a Phantom spray. And at the end, KO jumps out of heaven for another easy kill. In this next clip, Buzz gets another kill without having a counter strafe, but spray instead. Watch. This is a clip. Seemed like he was really trying to hunt down towards hell. I don't know if they had seen him. Sure. Like I said, beat Sugetsu back to the site. But he's almost anchoring with his flank. Insane stuff from DRX. The Phantom, like I said, is awesome at close range engagements. And when you're playing on maps where you're going to be doing a lot of close quarters combat, you should use it. The stats show that more people are using the Vandal over the Phantom. This means if you pick up the Phantom, you'll have a natural advantage over your enemies. So hopefully I helped you guys realize that the Phantom isn't that bad of a gun. You should use it more often, especially when you're getting ready to get up in people's faces. This means while in the buy phase, you need to think about your plan for the round and buy around it. And when you're using it, be sure to give your Phantom enough time to reset before firing again. Remember the second Phantom rule. Anyways, if you guys enjoyed the video, be sure to drop a like and subscribe to the channel down below. It really does help us out. But before you go, keep in mind that this is all just one of many in-depth guides that we have on the website. Also, if you want a chance at having your VOD reviewed, be sure to subscribe on our website at skillcap.com. We also have tons of Radiant Smurf commentaries. We have Radiant players walking through exactly how to have the most impact possible in a bunch of different situations. It's also backed by a rank improvement guarantee. And the reason to do that is because you're just that confident that our service works. And if it doesn't work, then you shouldn't pay. So what are you waiting for? You got nothing to lose head on over to skillcap.com and get started your way to that rank that you deserve. And yeah, that's it. Thanks for listening, guys. I'm Teets, and we here at Skillcap want to thank you all for watching, and we'll catch you guys in the next one. Take care.